Hello everyone, welcome to Vinod Ratinam Tutorials. In this video, we are going to learn how to do setup for Selenium web driver. Search for Selenium HQ, you will get the official website. Click on it seleniumhq.org. Then click on download. We are going to automate the test case for three browsers Internet Explorer, Chrome, and Firefox. The first file to download is Internet Explorer. My configuration is 64 bit. Just click on it. The file will be downloaded. This is the first file. The second file we have to download is Selenium client and web driver language. Based on the language which we are going to code, we have to download. We are going to code using Java. So click on download. The second file is also downloaded. Then scroll down. We have to download the third party drivers. For Firefox, it will be mentioned as Mozilla Gecko driver. The link, it will take you to the GitHub repository. In this, click on releases. Once you click on releases, you will get the list of files. Gecko driver for all the operating system. My system configuration is Windows 64, so I am clicking on this Gecko driver. Three files downloaded, and the fourth file is Google Chrome driver. Don't click on this latest link, always it is best to click on Google Chrome driver. The reason because when you click on latest link, it will take you to the beta release. Sometimes we will get the error, like the version is not supported error, so it is always best click on download the latest stable release. The latest stable release is Chrome 75 version. In that only three files Linux, Max and Win. Click on Windows 32 it will work in Windows 64 also. So totally these four files we need to download for our configuration. Move all the downloaded files to C drive. The drivers, three drivers just right click extract here we got three files then selenium java the language which we download extract here you will get these many files inside the lib you will have five jar files outside you will have two jar files just move into this so totally seven jar files the next step is we have to configure the selenium web driver in eclipse ide for that click on file new create a new java project in case if java project is not listed in this click on others type java you'll get java project just select click on next now type the java project selenium demo and no need to change anything here by default it will be selected jdk 12 then click on next now click on library in library we have to add all the jar files make sure you are adding all the jar files under the class path click on add external jars just come to that lips in that we have already seven jar files will be there select or open now all the seven jar files added to this class path then click on finish and you will get a pop-up like this new model info java make sure you click on don't create the selenium demo java project is created and you can see all the necessary jar files added now we will create a sample java program to launch the chrome browser just click here new class while creating the class you can create the package the name is launch application the package name simply i'm giving it as demo public static void main select this option you no need to worry about other options and click on finish the java class file is created and the class file name is launch application the first step to launch the application we have to set the system property for the chrome browser further system dot set property give the key and value key is 
webdriver dot chrome dot driver then the value is path of the chrome driver we know it is available here just mention this path copy this paste it here in the latest version automatically double slash will be included till drivers next one is chrome driver dot exe double slash chrome driver dot exe then semicolon this is the syntax we will give it in the windows once we set the system property for the chrome driver now we have to create the driver object for chrome driver in the web driver interface web driver interface the driver name i am just giving it as a driver it can be any meaningful name equal to using new keyword chrome driver just move the mouse above this warning message then you will get this auto pop up import the web driver here the web driver is imported same way import the chrome driver if you execute this program it will launch the chrome driver with empty url but i want a specific url to launch for the driver dot get method within this double quote we have to mention the url you can use this url to practice the automation now the coding is done just right click run as java application the chrome browser is launched and it is navigated to the mentioned url this page contain all the types of web element you can practice it this is how we will do setup for chrome driver now i will teach you one more way which will be very easier and also more effective way of doing coding here we have mentioned the path of chrome driver in case if you are moving this java project to some location at that time definitely this path will change and our code will not work so as a automation resource we have to think it such that even if we move java project from one location to the another location the program should run for that right click above the java project click on new then create a folder give folder name as drivers finish you created a driver folder inside the java project now copy all the three driver paste it all the three driver files has been moved to this location the path how you have to mention is just remove this and uh, include just dot it changed from the hard coded value to a dynamic path this dot means it will directly means this location just executed browser is launched the page is loaded i didn't do anything just mention dot it is more than enough this is how we have to do setup for selenium and uh, just right click on here go to the properties and click on this option it will exactly navigate to the java project inside this java project we created a java file which will be under src package and uh, this is the launch application class file that's why it is in dot java then the drivers which we pasted it now if you move this project to any location the script will work without getting fail hope you understood how to do the setup for selenium that's the end of this video thanks for watching happy learning